guys, it's Modina, day eight of my personal challenge. Today we're going, I'm going to show you a little booklet and a little journaling card and they're made from vintage napkins. Not napkins, what am I talking about? Vintage um, hankies. Now this one has some lace and some Tim Holtz and some some um coffee dyed paper i'm not gonna get my words out i'm, I'm not gonna lie i am tired <laughs> i'm kind of goofy um so this one's a little booklet of some scraps you know i love my scraps getting rid of them and this has the three hole punch here this one right here this is also using the tim holtz paper dolls and i think this is his botanical that I use, and I use the butterflies, and the butterflies here from Tim Holtz too. And just a little piece of lace, a piece of string on there. And this is just a journaling card. So today, um, let's see. I'm going to show you, now, I go to the flea market all the time, well I used to, and um, if they have a purple, Vintage hanky, it's mine. So I have a lot of purple. Look at this one. This is so cute. It's crocheted and it has like the little, I guess she's what you would call a southern bell. And look at all crocheted around. So cute. And anything that has purple, I love. Look at this one with the hand crochet. Now I do have a lot of other ones too. Look at the delicate little crochet. It's so cute. This is one of my favorites. Now usually I like to use the ones with the scallop edge because it makes... Um, Where'd my books go? Oh, here they are. <laughs> um, it makes a prettier little, you know, the little scallop around there. Um, but the ones I'm using today didn't have much of a scallop. This one is gorgeous, too. And my last. Oh, I have two more to show you. I'll move these over here. That's beautiful. Now this one, oh my gosh, I love this. The chocolate, the pink, and the green. Isn't that beautiful? That is so beautiful. I was going to use this one today, but um, the Tim Holtz paper dolls really didn't go with it. It was like, this is the background is too dark for it. So um, because these are spring summer theme, I'm going to make a fall one and I have one fall hanky Put that up there that's gorgeous so that's what I'm going to be using today and I want to show you what I do is um, you have to have a printer or you can go to Kinko's or wherever I don't know if Kinko's is still open but anyway um, you iron it nice and flat and you lay it on, of course, print side, um, the bright print side down on your um, computer, um, your printer, and you copy it. So here's the chocolate one. This is what it looks like. And let me show you this. It comes out. It's a slight difference in coloring. I guess I could have put maybe the... Um, photo one, maybe it came out brighter color, but I like the kind of muted, so it looks a little bit more um, vintage, so I love the way this came out. Okay, and then here's the fall one. So, and like I said, you just lay it on your printer and copy it. So, um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to back it with some coffee dyed paper. Let me find my glue stick. All 
Oh, I got this new mat um, from Ikea this week. And it's nice and thick. It was in the kitchen section. Um, I guess you probably would use it in your kitchen for a uh, cutting board. But I really like to glue on this because I don't really want to mess up my purple one. So um, this is great for gluing on top of things. Oops. I go through so many glue sticks. I'm at the very bottom of it. And we're just gonna, it don't have to be exact because I will be cutting some off. I don't have my credit card, but I'm gonna smooth it out. And this has a slight little edging here. But because I have an eight and a half by 11, of course I couldn't get the whole thing in. So on this side, I'm, I just drew with a pen and I'm gonna just scallop that. And let's see, I'm just gonna cut this out. And it doesn't have to be exact. I just like that pretty scalloped edge on, on it. Hope everyone is doing well. And um, I hope some of you are trying some of the crafts that I'm making. I would love to see them if, if you do. It's been raining here all day. Which is kind of nice because the other days were so beautiful <laughs> and I've been in here working hard on some Christmas journals and other things so I didn't even get a chance to get outside. So I don't feel so bad today because it's raining. I think I'm going to take just a little bit off. I don't, I, let me see. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little bit off here. Now, I do like this side better because, you know, it's really colorful, more colorful. Um, but for the Tim Holtz little paper dolls, they don't really show up well. So I'm going to use this side. And let's see, I just have some little pieces here. I got a butterfly. Got a little um, kid and he's like has a horn, I guess. I guess he's in like a scout outfit. I'm not sure. And then I have some of the Tim Holtz botanicals. I have another Tim Holtz paper doll and she looks like she's in a little cowgirl, I guess, outfit. So I thought they would go good together. I have a little um, piece of ribbon and we're gonna get this glued together. I'm gonna do the um, journaling card today. Um, You've seen me sew a book together, so this is still a little damp. All right, I'm going to put this down at the bottom. You know, I get up so early. It seems like the older you get, the more tired you are, but the less you sleep. I wake up so early now, like 3.30 in the morning. What am I going to do at 3.30 in the morning? I got nowhere to go. I can't go back to sleep. 
So by 12 o'clock, I'm ready for a nap. Put a little piece of lace. This is a little, um, I found the last time I went to a flea market. Oh, it seems so long ago. I um, found this um, crochet, oh, not crocheted, I guess lace tablecloth. And I brought it home. Of course, I washed it, tried to get most of the stains out. But um, it had a lot of stains, so I just take little pieces of it and use it into my in my art. And I love vintage, anything vintage I love. I love vintage tablecloths and doilies and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to put this on the side right here. Just to give it some interest it's got a lot going on so that's why I used a little cream lace and I had chose a little brown lace to put here but oh what I do also is like when before um you know I set up the camera and everything I just try out how I'm going to um, arrange you know uh, arrange everything so what I do is I arrange it and then I take a picture on my um, cell phone and then like I said I had the brown lace but it just didn't look I don't know I just didn't like it and then um, that way I can remember because once I set the camera up and I sit down and I go to to make it I forgot you know how I arranged it so at least I have a photo that will show you you know what you did before so we're gonna put these little flowers up here I had um done another craft but I didn't like it so um, that's why I'm doing this one I had something already um, made I'll show it to you I don't know if you want me to do it I, I can do it tomorrow um, I'm not a big fan of, of wax, but I always wanted to try it. So I saw on Pinterest today how you, um, like get old vintage labels and then you distress them and age them and then you pour wax. Well, you don't pour wax. You put wax on it and you heat it up. And I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard, you know. I liked it so um, I did another little label and I was going to put it on on this one here but I don't know I don't know if I like it so but if you want me to show you how I did it um just let me know and I'll do it for you and this is fab fab you fab ah, I can't talk today fab you fix glue the other one um, I forgot what it's called but they don't have it anymore the only um, craft store I had was AC Moore and it closed down all of them closed down um, right before the pandemic like beginning of February and I had went we have two um, AC well we had two AC Moore's and when the one closed I made out so good. I got so much stuff and it was so cheap. And then the other one was about to close. I guess it was in the last two, two weeks before closing, but the pandemic hit and um, that was it. So and I thought they looked kind of cute, like brother and sister, or like I said, I don't I I think this is a scout, maybe a scout outfit too. Girl Scout or something. Let's put this little butterfly right here. I was thinking about adding something else, but it does have a lot going on. So I don't think I'm going to add anything else. So it makes a great, like I said, journaling card. And um, 
like I said, all you have to do is get some vintage hankies and copy them. And like I said, what really looks pretty if you pick the ones with the scallop edging. So that's my um my craft today, day eight. And um, I'm starving like Marvin. I'm going to go eat. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.